I have two children, seven and nine years old, and a husband that we've been together for 19 years now. My son plays flag football and soccer, and he just started tackle, even though I'm not really happy about that. My daughter does hula, soccer, and basketball. And so all of our free time is spent on practices and games. My family does really mean everything to us. At age 37, Shanti Woodrow's full attention was on her family. But during a routine self-breast exam, she would find a lump, and attention quickly shifted to herself. Although the chances of cancer were small, the decision was made to remove it and do further testing. Two days after the operation, against the odds, it was confirmed that the tumor was indeed cancerous. Her gene profile showed that it was a, a less aggressive type of, type of breast cancer. Nonetheless, with the other features that were a little bit more high risk, uh, the decision was made to go ahead and treat it with chemotherapy. After talking to Okazaki and because I was so young, we decided we wanted to do everything to make sure that we didn't have this conversation again. So we went ahead and treated and um, I stayed cancer free for about a year and a half. With her cancer scare becoming a distant memory, and the chance of it coming back being extremely small, Shanti was excited to refocus her energy on her family and becoming healthy again. During a weight loss challenge at work, however, Shanti noticed an unusual mass starting to form in her stomach region. A follow-up CT scan would reveal the cause. The scan did show that I had a pretty big tumor on my liver, so the cancer had come back. When breast cancer recurs and when it spreads, typically speaking, it's not curable. That appointment was devastating. I went from a feeling of safe, a feeling of I was cured, to a feeling of just sheer fear and the feeling of not knowing what my future was going to be. In some situations when you have cancer just in one location, you do have a glimmer of hope that you'll be able to cure it. Again, I remember Okazaki sitting with me putting my, his hand on my knee and telling me that we were going to make it right. But that this was something that we had to fight fast and aggressively. So I immediately went on to chemo to try to shrink this tumor down. As news spread that Shanti's cancer had returned, her Straub Ohana quickly came to her aid. You know, we tried to support her to uh, our, not, just, not just our department and trying to accommodate her around her work schedule, but also um, our whole team of managers, all the way up to our director, our VP of the clinics, Maureen, and to Art. Everybody was always asking how she was doing. Words can't express the support that I got from them, the care, the kindness. Very rarely was it, who's gonna cover your areas? It was always, how can we help you? How can we make you better? I am truly blessed to have been in this organization while this happened. After six weeks of intensive chemotherapy, Dr. Okazaki would determine Shanti's critical next steps. Unfortunately, the chemotherapy, while Shanti tolerated okay, our first scan came back as showing not much response, which is quite scary. And the tumor had actually grown three centimeters. The tumor was so large, you could see it in my stomach. It really, honestly, it really looked like I was pregnant. After many sleepless nights, the decision was to just go for it and see if we can eliminate it completely with surgery. But it may be difficult to sometimes convince a surgeon to, to take out something when they know that, well, if I remove part of the liver, tomorrow it's going to show up somewhere else. When uh, someone comes uh, to me after seeing uh, lots of doctors, uh, there's uh, a lot of fears. Uh, that things cannot be done. In that particular case, it was a large size, I would say football size of this lesion. When uh, lesions are so big, uh, most people think that cannot be uh, treated. So when I was in Dr. Maldini's office and he turned around and said, we won't give up on you. We're gonna take this thing out of you. Words can't express just the feeling of sheer relief and happiness that I felt that somebody was gonna do this for me. Within days, Dr. Maldini performed the complex surgery and was able to remove the large tumor attached to Shanti's liver. The surgery was a success. 
I remember waking up in ICU and I do, I had tubes everywhere and all machines and beeping and I kind of was looking around because there was just so many people. And of course the first person I saw was my husband sitting next to me. And then I had Maldini on one side and I had Okazaki on the other and all of the nurses. But I remember hearing Maldini's voice and his thick Italian accent saying, I assume that you've heard already, but you're cancer free again. Since her successful surgery on August 5th, 2014, Shanti has been cleared of all cancer. Given a second chance at life, she savors every moment and every hug with her family. I am truly grateful for the team that took care of me, Dr. Okasaki and Dr. Maldini, who completely thought outside of the box. And I feel like if this had to happen, it needed to happen here because the amount of support I got from this organization got me through this as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you.